Uh, yeah, it just goes back to um, just my preparation and um, just trying to, you know, do my homework and um, obviously, you know, just studying. I'm um, not trying to do too much in that situation. Um, I know he has a really, really good changeup, and um, he throws it quite a bit. He can do different things with it. He can make it, you know, fall off the table. He can make it cut. He can make it sink. He can throw it for a strike. So I'm um, a guy who could command it like that. It, it makes it a little bit harder. So just not trying to do too much. I'm just trying to hit the ball hard and trying to just uh, find some grass, and um, that's what happened right there. I take it as like a challenge um, when I don't start, and obviously I've been playing almost every day, um, pretty much every day all year. So when I do get those down days, um, I, I kind of you know take it as a challenge. Um, I try to prepare like I did uh, when I used to come off the bench, and um, I try to see if I can still get the job done being cold all day. And um, I, I like challenges, and um, I try to uh, rise to the occasion, and um, that's that's what I did tonight. I really just think it's the the character of the guys in that locker room. Um, you know, Steve obviously you know came in and uh, made changes and uh, brought in a ton of you know veterans and um, even some young guys. And I think just the the baseball minds he brought in, um, it just makes it fun. And we're a relentless group, um, and we're very hungry. Um, we, we know that you know it's. It's not always going to be a, a smooth selling or a cakewalk, um, you know, blowing teams out. We know that we're going to have to win tight ball games, even when we're not feeling great, even when the offense isn't feeling great. And um, we, we just try to just grind out those days. And I think this group is, they're just great. We have fun together. Uh, we work extremely hard and we try to pick each other up. And I think that's what you need to be successful in a, in a long season like this. You're scared. I mean, you see a guy crash into the wall like that, you just want to make sure he's okay. Um, <laughs> we're a team, we're a brotherhood. So to see somebody, you know, lay their, you know, career on the line like that, it's it's pretty awesome. It gives you uh, that just more respect and love for the guy. And, uh, I mean, the guy's a warrior. And uh, it makes you want to just play and grind for the, for the guy next to you. So um, obviously we're happy that uh, he's feeling better, but it's a very scary moment. And uh, you don't want to see any of your guys uh, get hurt like that or go down at all. Is Mazika becoming as much of a legend within your clubhouse as he is the, the fan base right now? Of course. You know, he's a, he's a savage. Um, he's pretty cool um, for him to come up and, uh, you know, help us win these ball games. Um, this is pretty, you know, unique, um, the fact that he hasn't got a hit yet, but he's still contributing and he's just showing um, how, how funny the game of baseball can be. But we love him. We know he's a great player, a great hitter. He's always locked in, always studying, always helping the guys out. And um, when his number gets called, he's always ready and prepared. So uh, you got to love a guy like that.